Yeah, some of these processes sound like you're taking these very large um, issues, but somehow bringing it to um, an individual le uh, level, which sounds very rich and, and complex at the same time. It happens in the discussion by itself. You know, we start the group process, basically, um, these group processes are, we've been doing what, one monthly open group process to the public, meaning anyone who wants can come for many years. And um, for years we used to put issues, you know, different issues. We would put a title. And since I should... the crisis started um, four years ago, we, they're open. And basically we begin with asking people what they experience, what they've come with, what's in the room in terms of their feeling experiences or whatever is in, in, in each person's mind and heart. And Are you saying, you're saying that in these more recent forums, yes. there's no theme, they're no. just open for the public yes. and the theme that is, is decided on the spot? Yes, exactly. And that the, the way that we begin is what is in the room? What have we each come with? So if there is something, you know, intense happening or whatever, then each person begins to speak, and from that emerges the theme and the whatever you know we process. So we're actually processing what's happening in us, how the how the situation we're living in is affecting us, and so eventually you you pick on what's happening in the field, and we work on it, um, trying to. So eventually it does come down to us as individuals also, as well as the polarization um, on the political level. Or... That, that sounds both spontaneous and deep, but I guess I wonder, what, how do people come to a forum uh, or some kind of a group process meeting with no theme? Like, what, what will bring them in the first place? Like, this is different like what... from the open forums. When we do the open oh, forums, they have a theme. Yes. The, uh, these are the monthly group processes that we do at the, our practice space, which have been happening for 11 years, and we post them on Facebook and on the, on the webpage, and there are people who come, and then always pe other people who come say to their friends, or you should come. So there's always new people and old people. There are people who have been coming for years, and then new people coming in. It's different if we organize a forum. It's a we have a theme, we put up a flyer, you know, it's, it's different if we're doing a town forum. I see. Oh. Um, but people come uh, because people have the need mm -hmm. from a different type of dialogue. Mm -hmm. and, and this is, I think, why they come. Because what... Uh, mm -hmm. Very many times we had this uh, discussion among ourselves. What are we doing? What are we doing in such a chaotic situation, in such a difficult situation? If you do some group processes, if you work with an organization, or if you do a forum, it's a drop in the ocean. And what is the thing that we have to add in this situation, or we have to offer in this situation? And very often we come up with uh, this uh, uh, answer that we offer a totally different type of, di of a dialogue. How so? Can you say more? A space. How it's different? Like a space for this dialogue. Yeah, because mostly the, the, the meetings, because there are many meetings that are happening here and many discussions that are happening here now in Greece. It's, it's a place... Uh, uh, that uh, it's uh, full of creativity in a way right now because uh, uh, there are many things that they, they are happening in the level of neighborhoods and a uh, group of people are organizing things so it's full and um, I'm sorry I was lost about, about the, the difference uh, yeah. that you're speaking and, uh, but this type of dialogue is more linear somehow so I yes. say my opinion, and then another say, person says uh, their opinion, and the, 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 the discussion goes like that. People are right. That's or normal conversation. Normal conversation. We don't do normal conversation. We don't do, yeah. 
I mean, no, we, we try to interact, meaning there's more interaction. We try to help or hold an interaction and, and you know, because the paradigm is not afraid of feelings, actually. So going into the feelings, I think that's a difference of being able to hold also the, uh, the feelings and make space for the feeling experiences behind what someone is saying, a position, an, was, an initial also position. Also, personal experience, there is, uh, you don't have also to talk about what you think, but there is a space also for people to talk about their personal experience, their life situation, what they're dealing with, and oh. the, the, the feelings that are involved with that and also process the polarities that they're coming up. And I see seeing how uh, the dynamic that we're talking about on the outside is also happening on the interactional level between us. For example, let's say you're talking about fascism um, and there are aspects, right, in, uh, of if I go out and try to kill someone because they're different, um, there is a, someone needs to put a stop to that and say, hey, you cannot go out and kill someone. Come here. Stop. Right. Um, on, another le on another level, uh, this having space of, okay, something is different for Alexandra and something different for me, and we don't, there doesn't need to be one way to do things, is another way that fascism, you know, as a role appears. So to also... Oh. To see all the different levels is also important. Wow. And um, the thing for me also, I wanted to say to what, what awareness, you know, what, what's the something that um, tried to bring awareness to for me is the different types of rank and power that are involved in our interaction because that the person or the, the position that has the social power, the social rank has a power, but yes. the other side also has a power. Uh, and usually we don't identify with that power that we have. What is that other kind of power besides the social rank though? The other power is your sense of right, you know, that you're right yes. <clears throat> in what you're trying to do. It's like a, or that you feel uh, good about yourself, like a psychological rank or a spiritual yes. rank. Uh, in spiritual, I mean, in the sense that I know that what I'm fighting for, I have justice on my side. You know, or that, the, the freedom that comes from nothing left to lose. Yes, the the power, the freedom. That's right. When you are, or that you are awake, you see. For example, if I'm fighting with Lena and she's hurt me from her yes. use of power, I see that she has hurt me. I am in a way more awake and in that awakeness there is a power and uh, I also, Thank if I don't powerful. realize my power in that moment and somehow be able to use it in a useful way for the relationship, I am also then creating, uh, recreating the situation if I also misuse my power. So to I break see. that cycle for me is the most difficult thing, and I think we struggle with that. In, in, in the relationship, it's very difficult to break it in such intense situation. Also, I was thinking about uh, group verses that we had like last month, that, and as we talk about power, I'm thinking about the power that is hidden into the frozen states and depression and all that, because people were talking about their dreams in a way and suddenly uh, uh, at some time the, the room froze and no one was talking and uh, going farther with that people started to talking about yes the dream but how uh, disempowered they feel in order to take things on her hands and we work there about this uh, uh, empowerment, how they feel like they are the leaders of their lives and they are not only the victims of a leader. And that was that a sounds moment helpful. of depression in the group and this, this depression was hitting the potential for empowerment.